welcome to Bluebird Updates. I'm glad to have you guys. It's going to be another fun time out here at Not So Hollow Farm. Ooh, I can see a deer. We are going to start with box number four. It's going to be a little different, but probably just as much fun. Don't you think? <laughs> now, remember last week how I was telling you about biodiversity and how important it is to have lots of species in an ecosystem to keep it healthy. It's also very important to have the right kind of species in an ecosystem. And the healthy kind of species to have in an ecosystem that we want lots of are called native species. The eastern bluebird, that's a native species. So we really like having it around and that's why we're trying to help them. And tree swallows, the native species, Great, we love having them. But then there's another kind of species that isn't so good. It doesn't mean that the species itself is bad, it's just in the wrong place. And those are called invasive species. Keep that, keep that in your mind because we're gonna talk about it some more later. Just remember, native species, good. Invasive species, bad. So let's go check on some of our native species. Box four. I'm really happy to see this nest doing well. Let's go check box number five. Yes. Let's check box number six. Not too much in box six. So the female was actually on the nest. They don't tend to leave as frequently as the bluebirds do. Like you can walk up and they just don't leave. So we'll just let her be. Female's in there, so that's good. Now I need to hike the whole field again. All the way across to those trees. Give me some encouragement. Tell me, I can walk across the field. Wrens are doing their thing in box eight. How about them raptors, eh? You guys think they're gonna win it all? Let's go raptors. I just saw her poke her head out. We won't check the box so that she can stay on there and keep the eggs warm. I guess I will have to keep an eye on it and uh, possibly remove the dummy nest because what the wrens do is they fill up other nesting opportunities around so it's kind of like territorial but that's really bad when it comes to bluebird boxes because they get filled up for no reason. I'll check back on that. Box three. Let's check how the wrens are doing. Box two. Yes. Very nice. It's good to see five eggs still and the female left the nest so she's been keeping it warm. And notice the classic example of all the feathers in there. That's what tree swallows love to do is put a bunch of feathers in the nest. So classic tree swallow nest in box number two. So that is box number one up on the hill. It's just overlooking the nursery and we're not going to check it because I checked it earlier today but I got a sweet photo. Take a look at how beautiful and blue the eggs are and the female is, has been on the nest because she left the box so everything is going well in box number two. 
one. All in all, everything is good. I say we go back to the studio. You guys have sent me a lot of stuff this week. You, my friends, have been getting outside. So let's get right to it. St. Basil's grade ones were out looking for birds this week on a class hike. Nice. 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 Belmore School in Binbrook, they were out collecting nesting material to make their own version of a nest. Not as easy as the bluebirds make it look, huh? Great work, and it was probably super fun to get outside. Mrs. Mills class, they found a tree swallow not too far from their schoolyard. So I'm glad you guys are keeping an eye out and seeing what kind of birds are in the area. Great job, Mrs. Mills class. St. Joseph's in South Porcupine. They have a student who is watching a robin nest. Look, it has four eggs and then, oh, one less egg because one of them has hatched. Keep watching that nest. I'm sure more of those eggs have hatched by now. It was really awesome this week to see how many of you managed to get outside and explore and just some time to take in the fresh air and enjoy the birds. And it's kind of fun, isn't it? Mrs. Monahan's class has been doing some artwork. Great job, William and Marlena. Kristen, you decided to get creative and draw up a sweet looking bluebird. Nice job. Sioux Mountain School has a wall full of beautiful bluebird artwork. Wow, that is the kind of artwork that I like to see. Bluebirds everywhere. Miss or Mrs. Fields grade one class. They've been doing some bluebird and nest box artwork. Looking pretty sharp. And I understand a few of you have been doing some artwork in your own time. Nice. Sweet. Highview Public School sent me something in the mail and it's a whole bunch of drawings. Whole bunch of drawings. Cowboy. <laughs> Riley asks, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I was wondering about your bluebird friends. Do they sing a lot? Great question, Riley. Yes, bluebirds do sing. I wouldn't say that they sing a lot, but they do sing a fair bit. And I just haven't got good footage of them singing with the audio, so maybe I'll try and do that this week and share that with you guys. Great question. Sandra's grade two class has been doing a bluebird journal. And Nathan asks, why do bluebirds like jumping off boxes? That is a good question. Bluebirds like to sit on a perch, whether it's a box or a tree branch, and they like to watch the ground for insects. Once they see one, they jump off the box and fly to the ground and snatch that insect up. So it gives them a place to be able to watch for insects on the ground. Miss Lenny's class the grade fives at St. Paul's in Guelph also sent me some drawings. I like some of you guys' humor. It's kind of, uh, kind of funny. This is the best box. True. <laughs> nice. Why is it snowing? I want to film. <laughs> that was like my first episode. Hey look. I'm holding a bluebird. Wow. George says, thank you for doing all these videos. They're awesome. Thanks, George. And on that note, I think we are gonna end it here. You guys sent me so many things. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you're getting outside and you're exploring to see what kind of birds you can find. The bluebirds, well, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing some stuff in the next video. So stay tuned for that. I look forward to seeing you guys again. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Bye.